Softball now for the last six years, either Bath or Shawnee has advanced to the regional tournament with the Wildkins winning the district in 09 in last season, sandwiched around three Shawnee titles. Today they square off in Miller City. Bath pitcher Kimmy Reynolds, the two-time WBL Player of the Year, is yet to allow a run in the postseason, while Shawnee pitcher Kay Schick has thrown back-to-back -back shutouts to get her team to today's rematch. Another picture-perfect day in Miller City on the holiday weekend. Pick up the action. Top of the second, no score. Kimmy Reynolds keeping it that way with the strikeout on Kirsten Courtney. In the home half, runner on third for Bass. Courtney Helmick just one out. Hits the fly ball to left field. Shannon Simpson is there to make the catch, but Kara Dietzberger tags up. Scores easily. Bath grabs the one-run lead. Reynolds doing her part to make that lead stand. Gets Lauren Bittner looking for strike three to end the third. Bottom of three now. Carly Fry leading things off with a single. She would later score in a rundown to give Bath a 2-0 lead. Go to the top of the fourth. Reynolds remaining in cruise control. Another strikeout as she once again set the Indians down in order. In the home half, Bath breaks it open. Two on, no outs. Helmick at the dish. Third baseman drives one deep. The left stays in the park. Dietzberger scores again. Wildcats take the 3-0 lead. And runners on second and third. For Ellie Dakin, grounder pass the diving second baseman, plating Cassie Best from his third helmet right behind her. As Bath scores four in the fourth, they tack on two more and win 8 0 to claim back to back district titles. Reynolds allows three hits, strikes out seven on the graduation day victory. The Wildkins return to Buf Cyrus. They will face Clyde. That game will be Thursday at 5, while State Power LaGrange Keystone faces Maumee on Wednesday semifinal. Regional title game set for Saturday at noon at Bucyrus High School.